box of 12, glasses, hat, shirt. Hey everybody, welcome to the Reboot. As you know, it's Peter here at the Reboot. This is a bit of a different type of video for me. It's the first time I'll be doing a video like this. What do I mean? The project for today's video is that I want to seal all of the expansion joints that I have here in my shop. There are three of them. One, two, and then this third one over here that's still got quite a bit of uh, miscellaneous things stacked in and around it. I'll definitely be able to get to these two today. And it's different because I've used the product of a company for various parts of the build, mainly their glues and adhesives. And I'm talking specifically concerning the pins that go into the bedrock and the saddles that hold the posts in place in the wall system. Check out the video links above concerning those two elements of the build process. The company in question is Sika. They make a host of adhesives for the construction industry. And I reached out to them in terms of sealing expansion joints in concrete floors. As I've mentioned, I have used Sika products in this project to date. I have not reached out to Sika before in any way, shape or form. Then when I came to this part of the project, sealing the joints between these concrete slabs, I knew this was the product I wanted to use, so I reached out to them. They have a customer service line or an email. I sent them an email explaining the project, telling that I would like to use their product, and I sent them links of several of the videos, especially the video concerning the entire build process, that 40 or 50 minute video. And there was interest. And so they've decided to make a contribution to the project. I had proposed that maybe we could collaborate and they're making a contribution in terms of providing this self-leveling sealant for this little part of the project. So I've got 12 in the box, five extra right here. So that's 17 in total. I think that was the guesstimation in terms of the length of the cracks or the joints that I'm trying to fill. They also sent me safety glasses, a nice cap, and this shirt. You will see me wearing this shirt in coming videos. They also sent a pair of gloves. The only request they made in the email exchange that I've had with them is that I wear safety glasses and gloves. They actually included a set of gloves in this package that they sent me. However, my son has run off with those when he departed for university. They're actually a nice set of gloves. He grabbed them and off he went. So you'll see me wearing a different set of gloves. Sorry about that, Sika people. They are a nice set of gloves and like I said, my son grabbed them. So I'm going to read the instructions. I'm going to clean my joints and then I'm going to start applying this self-leveling sealant. Okay, everybody, you know the routine. Let's get busy. If you remember from the build process, if you don't remember, check out the link above. But these concrete pours um, were done by myself and my kids, and we are not professionals, so it's a little rough in places. For example, a little rough there. Roughest area is probably right in here. So I'm gonna clean these joints out that one I need to clean out, you can see that. So there's about a three to four foot stretch there that I need to clean out and maybe two to three feet on this area here as well. This material I used in the expansion joint, this foam gasket here has a quarter of an inch or maybe half an inch up top that is perforated and separates creating that space where the caulking would go, where that self-leveling sealant will go. So I've pulled that out in a lot of the areas. It's still to come out in certain areas. So I've got to get this out as well. This is really easy to do, as you can see. Again, this is a gasket you buy at any box store or building store. And see right there, I've got to clean that out there. And then once I get this done, then I'll vacuum it up and then it should be ready 
to put that self sealant, self leveling sealant into these expansion joints. Yes, I'm using an old screwdriver. That cleaned up quite well and we'll just This is not a complicated undertaking, but you want to make sure that your joints are clean. So spend the time to clean these joints out so that your self-leveling compound adheres correctly. Use some metal cutters to open it up. I'm going to give it a very wide opening. I want this stuff to come out thick. And I've cleaned the first 10 to 12 feet on each of these two seals that run into the doorway here because I want to get that done quickly so that that can start to dry so that when I leave today, I'll put down a, some plastic covering, I don't know if you can see it there, over the seal between the bottom of the garage door. Hopefully it won't stick. Um, point is to get it done early and fast and let it cure for two to three hours before I close the door all the way. I got one glove on and one glove off, so let's rectify that problem, get the gloves back on. Managing the camera and this exercise. All right. Let's make the mistake I did there to start off is that I forgot to puncture the seal. We'll get that off the cement there. So that cleans up quite well, as you can see. If you're gonna make an accident like I just did, so this is a very deep component to the hole here. I may actually do this in a couple of pours. And I already see a bit of an issue up there. It is self-leveling. So, gotta mark, block that out. Yeah, I've made this very, this first component here to fix is very deep. I'm going to run through this first. Canister very quickly. Wow, you can see how this is just a fantastic product. It just gets right in there and really works beautifully, perfectly self sealing. Exactly what I was looking for everyone. Again, this first crack is very big. It might actually be a little bit beyond the dimensions of what is recommended. But, as I move along here, it turns into a much more, what should I say, acceptable depth and width in terms of what Sika recommends on its labels. I think I'm coming to the end of my first. Yeah, that one's empty. Put those outside. If I end up using these 17 bottles just on these two seams to begin with, I'm okay with that. Again, great thanks to for partnering with me on this part of my build process. 
If I end up using the 17 just on these two, I'll go out and grab the remainder required for that last one, but I really... That's in wet. You get a very good close-up look on how novice this concrete job is. And I only went this far in this joint and over on this side I've brought it to here. And I'm out of the self-leveling sealant. I have dramatically underestimated the amount I would need for my job. And my job, because I'm a novice, and maybe if you're a novice out there, take this to heed. Again, the job is not, the concrete job is not to a high professional standard. Therefore, there is great unevenness, unevenness, sorry, in terms of my expansion joints. Some are wide and uneven like that, which require a lot. And then you've got this section down here. See how clean and tight that is? That shouldn't take a lot at all. But the areas that just sucked up the sealant, the areas by the door, I don't know why, that's where some of my worst concrete results are located. Very wide, deep joints, and they took a lot of the sealant product. Big thanks to Sika for sending me that. And a big fail on me for not quite understanding how much I'm going to need to complete the expansion joints in the project. Here. Okay, it's the next day. I've been to the store. I've picked up a number of additional Sika tubes. Again, big thanks to Sika for providing those initial 17 tubes for the project. Okay everyone, this is the last installment on this video. Let's have a look and see how the Sika self-leveling joint compound material has fared now that it's cured over several, several days. And you're gonna notice a little dirty on the floor. I've been going over it, walking, moving trailers, things around in the shop since it's or during its cure time or after it's cured. So let's take a look. So, Again, this is a DIY concrete job, and see how it finishes nicely up against the door there, and the door over there. Before, prior to putting the Sika in, there were gaps there. You could actually see daylight here. No more daylight, so Sika, it is doing its job. Guys, this is a fantastic product. Again, I want to thank the people at Sika Canada who sent me. I hope you can see it underneath the 
trailer there. Again, I approached Sika Canada. This was the product I wanted to use and I would have used it regardless of whether or not they were gonna send me some product as a contribution to my efforts here at the shop. So again, big shout out to Sika Canada for making that material available to me. Everyone, careful with your estimations about how much product you need. I underestimated how many tubes I would require to do these two joints in my concrete floor here. I underestimated it. I wish I hadn't because I know Sika would have sent me some more because they sent me more than I asked for to begin with. I ended up needing more because again, this is DIY guys. DIY means that my joints aren't as uniform and precise as a professional's job would have been. And therefore I required more material in some of these parts of the joints than was otherwise, otherwise would be required. Again, mine were less consistent, obviously, than a professional job. Regardless of that, fantastic product. The joints are sealed. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thanks again to Sika Canada. And please subscribe, like, and share.